In the first three videos of the series, we went ahead and installed all the required applications and tools that are necessary for developing Android here with on Windows 7. And so now what we're going to do is shift the focus here on projects themselves. And so this series is going to start off with a series of projects that are going to start off with project one being the simplest. And we're going to keep going through and adding more and more complex projects with the end result of a project that should be worthwhile to put on the Android market be able to use uh, and maybe even sell make some money on or just to give away for free so what we're going to do is focus here on in project one how to actually construct the graphical display of our project and really kind of get a under, good understanding of how it all works when we're all said and done with this project we're going to be able to click a button that will go ahead and add text to some editable text field or a text box that we have on our actual Android program. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Eclipse and we're going to choose Run and we're going to wait for Eclipse to load up. And so now that we've got Eclipse up and running we're going to go ahead and create our first project. So I'm going to choose File, New and we're going to choose Project. And mine's already expanded. Yours might look something like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and expand the Android folder, click on the Android project and hit Next. The project name for my particular series, I'm going to go ahead and just call every project name based on the project that I'm working with, which is just going to be called Project 1 for this particular project. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick look and see what's going to happen here. It's going to actually save this entire application and every all the contents with it in this folder called Project 1. And it's going to be located in the workspace directory, which is located in my username directory here on Windows. So if I need to copy this entire application over or back it up, this is the folder that I want to grab for this one. We're going to go ahead and hit Next now. We get to choose what version, or they said the SDK, what version of Android I want to develop for. Now, most of us might think off, at least I think off, or at the top of bed, off the top of my head, I'm like, wow, I want to start off with the latest and greatest of the Android operating systems to start developing it. However, I will give you a little bit of warning on that. If I have an older device, which we saw when we installed the software development kits, um, most applications at the moment are running this older Android operating system, a lot of those old phones that are around, and so forth. And so if I develop an application here for this Android 4.0.3, well, there's going to be not a lot of devices that can run it at the moment. And so I'm not saying that's a bad idea to develop on that, but to start off with, we're going to start focusing here on some of the older uh, Android development tools or the development kit itself. If you look, every time Android changes or makes an update to their system, the API changes. And so this right now is starting off at 7, and every time they make a change, it's going to keep growing larger in a number. And so 15 is at the moment. Uh, I'd expect to see 16 here coming shortly and it's going to keep growing in size with that and so um, that's going to make a difference because your operating system that's on your Android platform is going to basically look at this number and say whether or not it can run this application if it's if you have an Android operating system with 4.0.3 on there then it will run anything with 15 or smaller in number for API so we're going to develop an application here in Android 2.1 and I'm going to go ahead now and hit next the application name itself is what the person will actually see as the name of your program. And so I'm going to go ahead and call this one Display Text. That's the name of my application itself. Now the package name has to be something that's absolutely unique if you ever want to plan to sell this application. Meaning it has to be something that nobody else has for their name. And so what most people do is if they have a domain name like uh, mine is lecturesnippets.com you would put the top level domain name first which is the .com you put com dot lecture snippets dot and then I see a lot of people do Android as part of the um, differing thing for their particular domain name and then maybe something like their last name or something like the actual application they're working on or developing and so for this particular series I'm going to assume that maybe you don't have a domain name to use and if you don't have one I still have an option for you you can type something like local dot and I'm going to go ahead and just use my last name dot my first name and hopefully that's something that's a little bit unique now there I know there are other people out there with my same name but I don't plan on putting this application here on the actual um, market as well to be able to sell so I'm going to go ahead and start off with just for this particular application I'm going to start off with local dot my last name dot my first name dot and we're going to go ahead and call this one display text 
and that's the name of my application and this is all going to be something that has to be one word and no spaces are allowed in this particular package name and you can see here also the minimum SDK is currently at 7 so this is what we chose earlier and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and you'll notice here project 1 has been created in just a moment there's the little red X I was looking for it's being built and now everything has been complete and if I expand the folder I can see everything that was created within my first project now in the next video we're going to go through and take a look at some of these different folders and what actually was part of my project to begin with.